It's KJ Carson on WEEI. WEEI. <laughs> he doesn't want any part of Boston. <laughs> okay. All right. I, I don't see that dude. Okay, so you, you can confidently report that that Dame would not <laughs> want to go to Boston. Is that what you're saying? Okay. I think that's pretty safe to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was thinking Jalen Brown and maybe something to uh, Portland, and then you get Dame Lillard. Ah, yuck, 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 ha, 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 guffaw, guffaw, guffaw. KJ, W-E-E-I, good Saturday afternoon to you. 617-779-7937, text line 37937. That's Chris Manick on the Dan Patrick Show earlier saying, yeah, it's pretty safe to say that Dame Lillard doesn't want to play for Boston or the Celtics. Now, I, maybe he is not coming here, and some I would understand. I yeah, don't want him here. There's maybe too many people in the room. But the giggles, the laughs, is it about not wanting to play for the Celtics or for the city of Boston? Because one exposes you, and the other's a problem. Here's the exp- Here's the exposed part. Dame Lillard, I want to play for contender. I've given all my life up here in the woods, you know, chopping trees and, you know, trying on Nikes in the next town over. I'm bored. I get it. Portland is not exactly your opus of excitement. I get it. Okay, we want to, you want to go to a contender. Leakage is that maybe you want to go to Golden State, back to your home area, try and make a run, kind of pull a Durant, didn't pull off because they signed some other guys. You know, Draymond is money kind of kept some things in order. Yeah, you can't get to Miami because let's just call it what it is. Tyler Hero does not equal $45 million. But the Celtics could put together a package that would offer Portland some things for the future, some things for right now, and a chance for Damian Lillard to play for a contender. <laughs> yeah. Ho, 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 ho. At least San admits that he has a drinking issue. But he's laughing, or they are laughing, because it seems like there is a narrative that's going around, and this is the dangerous part. Don't go play for the city of Boston. Why? If someone said to me as a player, and trust me, my skills are nowhere close to it, that you have an opportunity to go play with the most dynamic young duo, homegrown, and could potentially win a title because, let's just face it, They've been to the NBA Finals, the Eastern Conference Finals, and the Eastern Conference Finals the last three years, somewhere you've been nowhere near. You don't at least find out what's going on to play there? So who set up the narrative? Look, if there's super teams, if you look back since, let's go over the last 20 years, where a free agent or a major trade played a role and it worked. Shaq and Kobe, L.A. Shaq and D-Way, Miami. The big three with Garnett, Allen, and Pierce here. Kobe and Gasol, L.A. LeBron, Bosh, Wade, Miami. Durant with the Warriors. And I would say all those Warriors and Spurs championships, they were all mostly self-built with the players they already had. So pretty much if you want to go somewhere over the last 20 years and have a chance to win a championship, you either go to L.A., Miami, or Boston. But you're absolutely not? Not going to Boston? (laughs) <laughs> but not wanting to go to Boston. <sighs> you could be building potentially. And and again, I firmly believe that Damian Lillard is not going to come here. I don't think it's a bad idea to be here for a couple of years. But you could be building a kind of Kevin Durant goes to the Golden State Warriors situation and you saw what that built. Or you could have the Damian Lillard who doesn't want to really go and then you end up having Shaq, Kobe, Gary Payton, and Carl Malone. That disaster, if you remember, from about a dozen years back. So why doesn't Dame Lillard want to play with superstars like Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown? Again, there is a math that existed that says that you don't have to send Jalen Brown and you still have room to bring in Damian Lillard. Damian Lillard doesn't want to play for the city of Boston. How many other NBA players are thinking this? How many other ones are having this conversation? 
This is why if you're Brad Stevens, you go get Perzingis because damn, he's a unicorn, and it feels like only unicorns will be coming here. Listen to the last major 20 things players that have come here and tell me what's going on, why free agents or trades aren't coming to Boston. Porzingis, Brogdon, Gallinari didn't play, Blake Griffin, Ennis Cantor, Freedom Press Chaser, Al Horford, Josh Richardson, Dennis Schroeder, Jeff Teague, this sounds like title stuff, right? Tristan Thompson, Kemba Walker, P.J. Dozier, Aaron Baines, Gordon Haywood, Kyrie Irving, Maybe there's a suspect there. Shane Larkin, Marcus Morris, Gerald Green, Al Horford, once before, Amir Johnson, and David Lee. What's going on? Where's the sexiness? What, what? Why aren't players saying, you know what? You've got two dynamic guys there in Boston, and, and, and I don't want to go play with them? I'm baffled. 617-779-7937, text line 37937, text line. Help me, because I can't figure out why a free agent doesn't want to come play with Tatum and Brown, and then you've got other people the press laughing like it's some type of joke. Let's go to David in the car. Thanks for calling KJ here on WEEI. I don't mean to speak in the third person, but I do have a wrestler's mentality. Uh, good David. afternoon. Yeah. Uh, good afternoon. I appreciate taking the call. So I'm a Celtic and why people don't want to come here. So, for the first and foremost, we don't have two dynamic players. We have one, and he's soft. Brown had a chance to be to show that he could be a dynamic play, you know, throughout the playoffs. Multiple times he had that opportunity to be that dynamic player, and he didn't come through. So, I personally believe that he should have been the one traded. It's not going to work out with him and in, in, uh, in Tatum, okay? So, to come here... For somebody to come here, I think we're going to be in for a rude awakening when the year goes on, when the season starts in Boston. We'll barely make the playoffs, and if they do, they will not even go to the conference, Eastern Conference Finals. Because they're lacking one thing right now, and that is somebody who's tough. The two guys, starting with Marcus, smart. You know, he was he was a tough guy on the court. He wasn't afraid to to confront somebody, to play tough, draw fouls, whatever the whatever it took to make a difference. But you know those those Williams, I think so but, but but David, here's my thing about that toughness argument. Those guys were here and it didn't yield the ultimate result, right? We're uh, I'll get into Marcus Smart and Grant Williams here in a second. End, no, 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 but no. here's the thing: both Tony. of these guys did not end up being a Tony Allen, right? Like if you're going to be these defensive guys, then then you're going to have all this toughness. It's got to result in some type of Title, right? There's no title. So if there's no title, you're going to just keep trying to go. You're right. But, but they the were here. The problem, the guys, the guys that could make that difference, to really step up and, 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 and score the points is Tatum and Brown, and they did not. They failed multiple da- times. David, thanks for the call. You know, see, that's the thing. And, I'll, and like I said, in the next break, I'll get into the toughness element of, you know, Grant, uh, Grant Williams and, Marcus Smart being gone, and I will show you how one guy was already gone, and the other one was, I mean, he was a union guy taking four-hour lunches. That's what was starting to come. But here's the thing. In the current NBA, you need to put something together that says something we've already got and something else to grow with it or to complement it to get you over the hump. The team that made it to the NBA Finals, there was an improvement by bringing in Brogdon. What's the conversation now? How can we move Brogdon? That's what. That's how can because you know that you need a big time player to come with these two superstars. If you trade Jalen Brown away, uh, yeah, look, it may be for his benefit, but it isn't going to be for the benefit of the Celtics. And then what are you going to do? Start pulling out the old New York Times article that Jalen Brown gave the interview for a few months ago? What is the narrative? Right? Why are free agents, and I just gave you the last 10, 20 major ones that came here, resulting in David Lee, and I forgot about David Lee. Brian, that goes back to what, NBA 2K8? Oh my God, it was before <laughs> I was even playing it. That, that's what I'm saying, right? It's almost like you know, like you're going to some big kid's house to go play their system. You know, I was you still, you still it's had like the guy you get auto drafted at the end. <laughs> right, right. Exactly, I never did that. But I, my point being is this: we can sell the history. We can talk about how. We're neck and neck with the Lakers and banners. But it seems like there's always someone walking into the Lakers office. 
to be a free agent. Dame Lillard is screaming to get to Miami, and they don't even have room. It's literally like trying to ask someone or calling up Ocean Gate now to see if they have any upcoming tours in two months. Like, it's not going to happen. So why? What, what is it? What has other people laughing at the, ex- the very mention of Dame Lillard or said other free agent is going to go play in Boston, and it becomes a laugh? I don't buy that caller saying, well, because it's Tatum and Brown and those guys disappear. Yeah, I don't think All-Stars look at other All-Stars and say, these guys disappear. Tatum led the league in points this past season. Brown, okay. Maybe there are times where you feel like, but that's what happens when you have an alpha and and an alpha A. That's going to happen. But why is there no free agent? Now, granted, Przingis is nothing to sneeze at. I've said Hey, you probably need to get a Euro big in here, but I was kind of hinting at something as well. I don't know how many American players are just kicking down the door to say, I want to go play in Boston with probably the best duo in the league. 617-779-7937, text line 37937. Brian Frizoko, man, it is this is our first time working together, right? Yeah, first time. First time. And the great thing is by the end of this show, unlike Adam 22's wife, you won't be in pain for the next three or four days. <laughs> well, we'll see. That remains. I'll make it that. easy for you. But I'm just trying to just wrap my head around how has it now become a chuckle, chuckle, ha, ha, ha thing about going to play for the Celtics? Well, they're the Eastern Conference dominant team. Uh, yeah, Miami made it to the, the to the NBA playoffs this year. I mean, to the NBA finals. But we can kind of say the coaching was asleep at the wheel. Some of the story that I'm about to get into a bit next with Missoula and Smart, that all started to play out at the wrong time. And remember I said that Missoula was the company guy. They found themselves like pretty much, oh, my gosh, someone from one of the five families killed someone else from the five families. We've got to cover this up. Joe, get in there. Joe did the company a solid. If you watch a lot of mom movies like I do. Well, not my, La Cosa Nostra movies like I do. Excuse me, I didn't mean to be rude when I said that. So, yeah, here you have pretty much one of the two dominant teams in the Eastern Conference where free agents can come, There, there's room, you've got a rabid fan base, and my question is, do they not want to play for the Celtics or do they not want to play for Boston? Because if it's the latter, then ne- I don't I don't know about you. There's not going to be a name change. I think change the name has been changed once, and that's from Bostonia, and they took the IA off. It's not going to be Bosto just to, you know, be hip. You know, look at, you know how they do, like, these Sohos or Nomas, you know, north of Mass and stuff like that. No! Why aren't these free agents willing to come play for Boston? KJ, W-E-E-I, 617-779-7937, text line 37937. Next, we'll talk about Marcus Smart and Grant Williams and how are we really crying over these guys leaving? And I'll get into that next, but right now it's time to trend with Brian Frizoko.